Okay, good morning. Uh, let's start with this uh, talk. Uh, um, there was a keynote that uh, was cancelled, and um, instead of this keynote, I will now give this um, presentation on empirical and applied research in information security. So, um, with this title, what do I want to um, tell you in the next uh, 45 minutes or so is I'll um, give a brief overview of uh, the research, of different research that we did that's all characterized by analyzing systems um, that have been built, that exist and that are used by millions of people, such as uh, Facebook or Dropbox. Um, and for those of you who are PhD students or who supervise PhD students, it might be interesting um, this talk to um, have a, um, some arguments and some, some um, guidelines of how to defend this research if people with a strong theoretical background say, well, you, you don't really do research, all you do is you find some bugs in systems and you make some suggestions of how they could be fixed and this is not research. Uh, real research would be uh, that um, with a strong uh, theoretical foundation where we start building secure systems um, from the start, so let's uh, just make some assumptions. Um, let's not make any assumptions on, on existing systems, but let's just prove a syst that a system is secure from ground up and build such systems. And the argument in, in that we have with a, with a strong applied side is, yes, it's this re line of theoretical research is good and important. However, in the meantime, until those systems really exist and are widely deployed in the, I don't know, coming five or 10 or 15 years, um, we have systems out there that are used by millions of people and analyzing and observing those systems is important. So um, let's go to the um, first slide. So one characteristic is that, and this is also research, is if you, if you observe complex systems and you try to understand how they work. Right? It could be that in nature um, it, it's um, hard to uh, dive 10,000 uh, meter deep and then find some new fish down there. Um, and you don't create anything new, you don't prove anything, you basically just find fish that have been there for like millions of years. And this is still research because it's hard um, to find those. The, and if you try to explain how those ecosystems work, um, understanding and observing those systems is important. In, and in the, I don't know, last 10, 10 years or so, we now have in information technology, we now have systems um, that one could understand, but the people who operate them, who own them, they try everything to hide certain characteristics from you. So for instance, if you think of cloud services, Amazon Cloud or so, um, there's the network infrastructure behind